Hi, my name is Peter Hankels. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Rose du Chien. She was born in France in 1769 and is the patron saint of perseverance amid adversity. Right off the bat, she experienced some adversity in her life as her family was opposed to her desire to join the Visitant nuns whom she was educated by. In fact, when she was 19 years old, she convinced her aunt to take her to the monastery for a visit, only to apply, be accepted, and send her aunt away to tell her family what had happened. However, the monastery was then shut down in 1792, and the nuns were dispersed by French revolutionaries during the Reign of Terror. It wasn't until 1801 that she was able to attempt to reestablish the Visitants, and even when she did, only three other sisters uh, joined her, and she ended up as Mother Superior at just 32 years old. In 1804, she finally uh, merged her, her uh, small and, and floundering order uh, with the new Society of the Sacred Heart. At the end of the Napoleonic Wars in 1815, she established a convent of the Sacred Heart in Paris as well as a school. And so all this time she persevered, pursued, pursued her vocation, um, despite all the turmoil in her own country and in the church. And because of her perseverance, she went on to establish the first convent of the Society of the Sacred Heart outside of France in St. Charles, Missouri, as well as the first free school west of the Mississippi, ministering and evangelizing the Native American and French children. In 1828, the Society's original five members in America had grown to six different communities and operated several different schools. She died on November 18th in 1852 at St. Charles after 34 years of service and prayer for the Native American and settling people. She was beatified by Pope Pius XII in 1940 and then canonized by St. Pope John Paul II in 1988. I think we can all agree that uh, our own church and our country are in need of a lot of prayers uh, and perseverance in this time. And so uh, let us ask St. Rose for her intercession, to intercede for us um, to Jesus Christ, to give us the faith, hope, and fortitude we need uh, to make it through whatever trials we are experiencing 